Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, 90% Native. Today, I wanted to take you around and show you what's blooming. And after my total random vlog last week and my huge task list, I wanna tell you what I have been able to accomplish this week. Behind me, you'll see we had a little bit of a, of a cold spell. And so I had to bring in all of my frost tender vegetables and perennials. So they are all back there and I am going to pot them up tomorrow, I think. And then it is what it is. They live or they die. And then over here, I started um, trying to get everything cleaned and I think I've done a pretty good job so far. Now I just have to organize. Now, now that everything is pretty much clean, I just need to organize. And so that's that. Okay, so let me go around and show you what's blooming. First up, check out this green and gold. It's just a carpet of green and gold. It's exactly what I want, and I want it to just be this whole bed is a carpet of green and gold. I have it all planted all within here. And then I have it here as well. Then over here on the side of the driveway, I am taking little cuttings and moving them here so that this whole side of the driveway can be a carpet of green and gold, just like that. The dwarf fathergias are about to go over as far as their blooms are concerned, but they were really, really cool while they lasted, like little, like little uh, snowballs. A lot of my native ginger is starting to come out. And this whole section, I want to be in the, in the shade, I want to be covered in the native ginger as a green mulch. Here are marsh marigolds. Some of these I just transplanted the other day, so um, those aren't blooming, but that's all fine. Okay. Then we'll go down to my side yard, which I never have taken you to. This is a bed of um, bearded irises that I inherited. Here is a huge area of Lily of the Valley, which is totally invasive. So I actually tried to smother it with cardboard one year and it came right back up. I think even better than it had before. So I might have to get the roundup. Don't tell anyone I said that, but I think that might be the only way to get rid of it. So this is what I wanted to show you here. Look how awesome the golden ragwort is. Now, if you want a plant to fight invasives, this is the plant. It is so cool. and it blooms for a while. This is probably the second big thing for me to bloom after the Golden Alexanders. We got our walkway power wash. It looks so good now. And I finally see where the blue matches the blue on the house and then the orange matches the brick. So <laughs> now that it's finally been power washed, I see, you know, the thought process of putting it together. Here is woodland phlox blooming away. And my um, group here of woodland phlox looks kind of smaller than it has in previous years. There's a moth, I'll put it, the name of it up on the screen. It used to always come, but in previous years, it would go all the way over and around here too. So I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I forgot to get that wine berry out. Hmm. Okay. So that is the woodland fox flocks, woodland flocks that is looking pretty good. And then here are some more marsh marigolds looking great. And then the golden alexanders I've shown you a million times. I can tell that they're just now starting to go over, but still kind of in their peak. 
the bluebells are pretty much done but I do have Jacob's ladder blooming and I think they just look incredible they don't look like a native plant they look like something that's been cultivated anyway that's Jacob's ladder and I'm absolutely okay, loving it in the native hedgerow and I have this is a black chokeberry that's blooming it's my only black cherry or it's my only black chokeberry that's blooming but that's part of the hedgerow and it'll thick it and I have like I think six of them going down in there here is some more woodland phlox except for this is white so it must be a cultivar that I bought early on and then behind that you can see some tiarella blooming with the may apple and the jack and pulpits are starting to come up here through the may apple so um, the may apple kind of dominate this corner for a while and then once the jack and the pulpits start coming up they will overtake the may apple but it's usually about the time the may apple is dying back anyway because it is a spring ephemeral let me see oh here's a may apple flower here we go so this flower will turn into the may apple is it called a may pop i'm not sure anyway it's a big seed really big seed and supposedly the turtles like it still waiting on my turtles but anyway there's one of those beautiful little flowers it's too bad that it's underneath the leaf because then you can't easily see it but you know honestly it makes you look makes you get down there and look and see what's going on here's another one if I can get in there there you go okay and here are my trillium that are pretty much going over my little tiny patch of trillium that I inherited that patch never gets any bigger so in this bed here which here and here I think I'm gonna start referring to as the emerald garden because it's pretty much all green or all green and white um, I want to show you that the false Solomon seal is blooming so we're really getting to a peak time for the woodland gardens that's the false Solomon seal which is the native and I should have some oh here's one some native ginger flowers that is a native ginger flower like the may apple the native ginger flower is on the underside of the leaf. So you really got to get in there and examine some of your natives to really see the beauty of them. Here's some Brunnera, Jack Frost, not a native, but not invasive. So this is what I wanted to show you. I love golden ragwort. I love it. I'm gonna just put it everywhere I mean I actually started putting it everywhere but look at it it's just a carpet of like Sun it's so pretty I am going to open up the deer fence so you can get a better look at it look at this how beautiful is that So this is the bird garden. I can barely get in here now. That's what happens. But anyway, this is all going to be uh, jewelweed. And then we have ostrich fern. I think I'm going to come in here with my camera because this is, would be a beautiful shot. Let me see if I can do that. All that yellow popping through all the different textures of the green. I just am in love with it. <laughs> I'm so thankful I had friends come over and help me get this deer fence operating. So folks, yet again, I have blooms on my pawpaw trees, lots and lots of blooms. And then this pawpaw tree right here, another year with no buds. Getting a little frustrated. 
Okay guys, so that covers what is blooming. So now I wanna talk about what I actually got done after I talked about my big, huge to-do list last week.